what's up YouTube fam, Brandon Weaver here once again. We're talking about a Dunning letter. What is a Dunning letter? Okay, so an individual writes in with this question here. They got an email, feel free to email me if you've got questions, all right? We've also got individuals who's getting charge offs off and had a question that we can help them with. So, this first question is, hey, how you doing, man? I just received this from a collector. See the attachment here? What would you recommend? Okay, so this individual just got a letter from the collector, which they attached here, and it says, it says that they're sending this letter, and if they do not get a response from this person, the collector is going to assume that this debt is theirs. They're just gonna assume it's theirs. And they didn't provide, and I'm looking at the letter, they didn't provide um, anything to substantiate that it is this person. So they're just gonna assume it's theirs. This is a Dunning letter. They send something out, if they don't hear back in 30 days, they're just gonna assume it's yours. So what you can do is you can send your collection validation letter to them, okay? And it outlines everything, all right? Under the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act, bullet points, each state, boom, 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 boom. Each thing. How do you calculate this? Where do you get this? How do you, how do you substantiate this? What contracts do you have? What, what, how do you say that I owe what I owe and all this? So how do you do all of this, right? Boom, it's all the way there. Fair debt collection practice that you can be sent. Now, if this is on your credit reports as well, you can send your 609 dispute letters. But if it's not there yet, and they've just put this Dunning letter out to you, then you can send your validation letters. You can get this at 609creditrepair.com. Get that beyond committed package, or we can do the work for you at theawesomelifegroup.com, all right? So, when another person who's saying, hey, you know, I've got a few charge-offs, and you know, maybe I didn't see these videos, or you know, maybe they didn't see, they didn't know, but in the past, before they got to us and they sent us an email, they did pay these charge-offs. So these are paid charge-offs. They wanna know, hey, can I still dispute these? Can I still potentially get these paid charge-offs off of my credit reports? The answer is yes. You can still dispute these unverified charge-offs, whether they're uh, paid or unpaid, whether they're um, appropriately on there or not, they have to be able to prove if they're appropriate on there, if they're accurately on there or not, if they're 100% verifiable, okay? They have to be able to substantiate it, just like these collectors who are not sending any proof, they just wanna say, oh, well, we're gonna assume this is yours. The bureaus can't just assume this is yours. The collectors can't just assume this is yours. They have to be able to substantiate, they have to be able to verify 100%. So in this scenario, same thing. Even if they are paid or unpaid, they still they still have to be able to verify 100%. You can demand verification. We've got letters for this. 609creditrepair.com. Get that Beyond Committed package. Got all the videos, the ebooks, the system. Walk you through the process. Or we can do the work for you at theawesomelifegroup.com. All right? So please give the video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe, try button. And until I see you in person, I will see you on the other side. Take care.